welcome to simple cutting and sewing channel first of all i would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers and my channel has reached one first 1000 subscribers and thank you very much for all of you for watching and subscribing my channel so today i am here with another cover neck design and um, this is personally my own way of making cover neck pattern so you will not find this pattern anywhere on over the internet so um, this is, uh, it is it is very important to use the right type of fabric use a nice jersey and drapey fabric i'm using a viscous fabric to make this type of uh, um, a drapey dress for you uh, today and in this uh, video i covered many issues you guys were facing and many of you requested me to show how to attach this uh, uh, cover neck with the back part of your uh, top so i try to cover all of these uh, areas and some of them uh, ask me to do uh, about this um, armholes and how to um, face the issue if they are a little bit uh, longer so you can see the armholes are not big and I try to cover many of these um, issues in my video so this video could be a little bit longer so I divided it into two uh, part so stay with me and uh, be patient and continue watching all video so you can see step by step I will start this cover neck dress or top whatever you want to make by cutting a spare pattern so spare pattern I'm using my old uh, pattern which I have cut for my top to cut the new one which we are going to use for this project and the type of fabric i will be using that is a viscous top. i will start this top by cutting a pattern after cutting a pattern fold your fabric place a pattern on a top and cut as i am cutting so cut the side of the um the top and uh, then uh, play, uh, cut armholes as well armholes are not deeper as compared to front armhole cut neckline fold the neckline and place on um, a stick on fabric then the same pieces are similar and uh, then place these um, front uh, pieces and um, uh, neckline together and on the back uh, of the uh, top first of all uh, you remember we are preparing the back pin them together and use your sewing machine to uh, stitch and cut the excessive fabric i have attached back lining first of all in this dress it is better to prepare uh, back first so this is um, a stick on fabric and this uh, when i will fold it inside and then iron it it will stick to the fabric so i'm at the moment i'm not going to fold this uh, now i have overlocker so i overlock all uh, this area and if you are using a uh, sewing machine so you can simply give a double fold and like this for your uh, back neck lining so this is the back part ready to go and now we will move to our front part and for the front part I have folded this fabric use your pins it's better to pin up this project so it will be good for you to uh, work with so now we need our pattern paper again so first of all what we need to do hope you can see properly uh, here no, like this so this is a folded part these are open part so from this part leave 10 or 11 inches free i will leave 11 inches so it is up to you if you want more drapes you can leave a little bit more fabric i think 11 inches will be good enough so i'm leaving 11 inches and marking it here so what i'm going to do this is 11 inches free I will take my pattern paper which I made for the back. So you use this pattern paper and right from the shoulder, the mark you made, we are going to make sleeves from here. Like this, put your pattern paper here on this mark and this fabric is free and now I'm going to mark my sleeve for the front it's coming my shoulder and then for the side I will be giving a shape so when it's coming I will, over here I will move my fabric a little bit so I can give a good shape for the front keep moving it down so you will have a good shape of your 
dress or top you are making like this and now I'm going to cut now our front part look like this this is 11 inches this I left free and here I cut sleeves from the side I will make them deeper later on but not at the moment and this is a side of our the side curve for our top or dress whatever you are making and I leave some extra length and whatever the length I want so later on I will decide if I want to keep it at a long dress or a little bit shorter so we will do this later on so this is basically its shape should look like this at the moment this is a free part these are sleeves and these are curves so next what I'm going to do I'm going to do slight curve here just slight diagonal and now I'm going to overlock this one and if you don't have overlocker doesn't matter you can use a zigzag because this part I'm going to fold it like this inside I will come back now I have overlocked this part this free part you can see and you can simply use zigzag machine um, zigzag stitch for this area and now what we need to do take our pattern we make for the back open this fabric uh, pattern in front of you like this hope you can see it properly and now what I'm going to do this area which I have cut diagonally I'm folding it in so this folding area and this one so it is up to you if you want a deep neck leave it like this or if you want little smaller uh, fold so what you will do about one inches go up and pin up here and on the same side go one inch up and then pin up and see if you like the depth or not if you think that it's still deep so what we can do move it a little bit away and we will cut from the shoulder we have to give a shape anyway so I will move it a little bit up so both sides basically should be equal so we will pin up with a paper so we have a next free step I will fold it and then I will leave it a little bit diagonal like this so keep see keep watching your drape and now I will pin up again it's coming like this it's not straight it's coming diagonal because I'm giving a drape in front and then pin up again and the same on the other side fold it it's, uh, you can see there is a diagonal it's not straight and then pin up again and as I mentioned this video could be a little bit longer so I will divide into two or three parts so keep watching keep staying with me so next third one fold it again and then like this this one fold will be a little bit longer because it's going further down and make sure we have to match this shoulder area remember we cut this shoulder like this and make sure this shoulder area matching with it and the rest of the fabric could go in folds now I'm going to give another fold you can give three folds or four folds this is up to you so I'm gonna get third fold like this and pin up again and on the same side same way on another one third and then pin up again and watch this lovely drape coming down and make sure the sleeves are matching 
the sleeves a little bit bigger so we will sort them out and I will tell you how to if your sleeve you cut your sleeve a bit longer so what to do because I have a few requests asking if the sleeves they get longer so what we can do so next step then you can do this is your sleeve area right so give one nice little fold here so you can see nice drapes everywhere I think this is full and just thin it up so these are the three fold I could give if you have a more fabric or if you give little bit smaller fold you can give more folds now match this sleeves area with this one and here as well same on another side and now you can see a nice drape is coming in front and this sleeve area this one it look a little bit longer when the sleeves are a little bit longer so it does not matter so what we can do give a slight fold and make sure they are diagonal fold so in this way you will get more drape but in this uh, in this um, uh, top one area is coming with a fold and one not so better not to do it we will cut the excessive fabric so i will do 